Hello there, Jennifer Maker here. Another new version of Cricut Design Space for Desktop is rolling out this week. And with it comes some awesome new keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts let you do things faster and easier, and I think of them as cool keyboard and mouse tricks. So I thought I'd show you a few of them, some I've been using for years, and some that, that are new with this update, to help you Cricut faster too. So here we are in Cricut Design Space version 7.12, and I'm going to rapidly copy and paste this word, so cool, here, using the keyboard. Watch this. I copy it and then I paste it that fast. Using the keyboard can really speed up your design space work. So let me show you a few simple tried and true tricks that you can use right away. Maybe you already know these, so if you do, I promise to show you some brand new ones at the end too. First of all, we can undo everything we just did. And yes, we can go up here to the top and click the undo icon, but I can actually press command or control on my keyboard, depending on which kind of computer I have, Mac or Windows, along with the Z key. So command Z on Mac or control Z on Windows to undo all of those extra things, just like this. I did all of that using my keyboard. And you can copy with Command C or Control C, and you can paste it with Command V or Control V, just like this. And then you can delete it using the Delete key on the Mac or the Backspace key on a Windows keyboard, just like this. This is so much faster than looking for the right icon on your screen and moving over there to click it. You can also scroll your canvas using your mouse. So if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can move up and down your canvas just like this. And if you hold down the shift key on either the Mac or Windows, you can scroll to the left and the right just like this. And again, you don't have to come down here or over there to do the scrolling, which is normally what we'd have to do. When you use the keyboard, it's so much faster. So again, it's just scrolling with the mouse wheel. And if you hold down the shift key, you can move left and move right. Another thing I really love are the arrow keys on the keyboard. So for example, if you want to move this word tricks to the left or the right, you can just use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it left and right like this. And of course, you can go up and down as well. This is so great because you can do this and keep things all in line. Notice how it's staying on its plane as I move when I use the left and right keys. And it goes up and down nice and straight and smoothly when I use the up and down arrow keys. All right, so what if you want to go just a little more? Hold down the shift key as you move the arrow keys. Now when you tap the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard, you can move by an inch at a time. So just using the arrow key, it goes an eighth of an inch, but holding down the shift key as you move the arrow key, it moves an inch in either direction, up or down. You can, of course, also select everything on your canvas. You can do that with Command A or Control A on your keyboard, just like that, super easy. And of course, you can copy and paste all of that too. And then you can delete it all with the keyboard and never need to use the mouse. You can also move things forward and backward right now. The word keyboard is above the word tricks. And you can see this over here in the layers panel. So it's arranged to be higher up so that the Y is overlapping the R. But what if you want the Y to be behind the R? You can use your keyboard to do that. Just select the layer and press Command open bracket or Control open bracket on your keyboard and it sends it behind. So cool. And then you can bring it back to the front with Command or Control close bracket. Isn't this awesome? And then of course, there's the secret contextual menu. Most people don't even know about this menu. You can get to it by right clicking with your mouse. So, looking at your mouse, instead of left clicking, which is what you usually do, this is the left click here, you would want to right click it like this. And when you right click something, you get this menu. And depending on what you right click, you get different options. So if you right click on the canvas, you just get the option to paste. If you select some text and then right click, you get this contextual menu with lots of options, including edit text at the top, which is new. 
You also get all of these other options. And if you right click on a layer over here on the right in the layers panel, you get similar options plus this really handy image info option down here at the bottom, which tells you what font was used on a text layer or what image was used on an image layer. And that is super useful, especially if you've welded something and you've forgotten what font or image you originally used. And you can turn your canvas grid on or off by holding down the shift key and pressing G. Some of the brand new keyboard shortcuts added with this update include the ability to duplicate easier by holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows as you click and drag something. This makes it super fast to duplicate things and have those copies appear in exactly the right place you want them. This is my new favorite keyboard shortcut. And you can zoom in and out on your canvas by holding down the command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows and then press either the minus or plus sign on your keyboard. Or press command or control plus one to zoom to fit your layer just like this or press command or control plus zero to zoom to 100%. Or what if you cannot find a layer on your canvas? Cause this happens, right? You just locate it over in the layers panel on the right and then press command or control plus two to zoom right to it. How cool is that? No more losing stuff and having to hunt for it. You can also zoom in a specific area of your canvas by holding down the Z key as you click and drag your mouse like this and just pan around your canvas by holding down the space key and clicking and dragging like this. This is super, super useful. I love these additions. Finally, you can group using your keyboard. Just press Command or Control and G to group two or more layers. Want to ungroup? Just select a group and press Shift plus Command or Control G to ungroup. And if you don't want to select anything in your canvas, press the Escape key. And now everything is unselected, which brings us full circle. And when you're happy with your design, you can do Command or Control plus the S key to save your project. And there we go. The project has been saved. And of course, you can quit Cricut Design Space entirely with the Command or Control key plus the Q key. It will give you a warning before it actually quits, which I know we all appreciate. <laughs> There's a number of other keyboard tricks and mouse tricks. I've identified 45 of them so far. Get the full list of all the ones that I've discovered over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Keyboard Tricks. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know. I love to help you learn to use your Cricut to make amazing things. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.